This is Ashley Kayon on location for the Key Biscayne Chamber of Commerce, and we're here with Ralph Kastner and Richard Putanti of Kastner Putanti LLC, and together they have over 70 years combined experience. So we're just going to ask them a couple questions. <laughs> we're going to ask them a couple questions, and we're going to find out a little bit about them and their company. So can you tell us uh, where you got the idea for Kastner Putanti and uh, what made you want to open a business? Well, it starts out with the, most buildings in this town, especially high rises along the water, are, are turning 40 years old. And recertification is coming due for all of them, and the state of Florida requires it. Requires an engineer, requires a contractor, pull a permit to do so. And Richard and I have enough experience where we can help the owner be able to have a watchdog with him so that when the contractor and the engineer say you need this, this, and this, we're here at the beginning of a process to help the owner um, be protected from things that maybe they don't need or stuff that they do need um, and be able to maintain control over pricing. The, uh, the idea of a 40-year recertification is simple. It is meant to make sure that your building um, can stand up for another 40 years. Um, and after the 40-year, they do it every 10 you have to have something else come up. So there is a, a need for it and uh, to be on the owner's side. And certainly with the experience we have in building them and project managing them and superintendent and repairs of everything we've done over the years in town and in other parts of the country, it's important for owners. So to offer that, the idea came, let's offer this with the experience we have. What other services do you provide? We are building inspectors. Uh, we also have engineers on staff. If we need to have an engineer come to the job site of any particular nature, we can have that. Uh, if there's uh, any, any issues with scheduling, cost analysis, looking at the construction means and methods, we've both built enough where we know whether it's being done the right way or not. Uh, we've been, like we said before, in the business long enough, and w w we've we've seen we've seen enough to know whether an owner is being led down the road in the wrong way or the right way. Uh, we prefer to uh, help the owner lead the construction process instead of be led. I think that's important, and um, you know we've we've built it all. We've built we've built a lot of different types of construction. Means and methods are not um, are not always the same. But we've seen many different kinds between government work and private work as, yeah, there's a lot of different ways to build a building. It's nice to have somebody on your side when you go in contracts to say, yeah, that works. No, it doesn't work. That's important. Yeah. What are some of the troubles you encounter when you represent your um, clients? What we found a lot of is time and money become an issue for an owner. They want to see the project done in a, you know, in a reasonable amount of time, and they don't want to be taken to the bank. They want it to be done for a fair price. So there's always a balance to be struck. Not always, you know, not always apparent in the beginning. You have things that may come up, such as delays. Who's going to be responsible for that? Owners find that you know, they wind up being on the wrong end of that a lot of times, where they, they get blamed for, for certain things. And, what we do is we go to end up paying for delays, and a lot of times they shouldn't. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you've got somebody coming in that's had 60 years experience in doing this, a large multi-million dollar company, and then they won't take responsibility for not figuring out how to do your job, you need somebody on your side to say, well, you should have thought of that because you've been here a long time. Mm -hmm. And that's what Richard's alluding to is that sometimes they want changes in timeline, and that's difficult for owners when you're in most of these cases where you're taking part of their lives away, either the common areas or their balconies. That's a difficult thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll sit with the contractors, the subcontractors, and, and, and that information we'll bring to the owners so at least there's a, re, a real uh, line of information and, and there's a, a, a real connection. We, we collaborate with the engineer, with the the word collaborate, what I mean is if there's a problem, if there's an issue that we need to come together on, we come together on that and we, we express our ideas and we offer the best recommendation to the owner. 
from a third part party. Well, as, a, as the problem arises, yeah. yeah. We're there with the experience to be able to help recommend to the owner which is the best route, which is the best way to go. That's true. So some of the responsibilities for uh, protecting an owner, would that fall under the category of uh, pulling permits, uh, you know, having meetings with the, the village? How does, what are some of the responsibilities that you focus on when you first uh, have, you know, have a client? What, what do you focus owner on? Owner responsibility. The, the biggest thing that we can find is owners that inadvertently forget to take something off a balcony and a contractor can't get on it. And it's not anything about a permit. Once the permit's issued, that's it. The, this, the municipality's happy with that. They would like to know if the contract goes over cost so that they can recoup the money that they need to recoup because they had to go to more inspections. A lot of these jobs will have threshold inspectors wherein the municipality collects a fee but only comes out and looks at a record book, basically. But owner things that the owners are getting in trouble with is really not taking care of the things like if you're going to do a common area, get everything out of that common area. Or if you're going to do balconies, get everything off the balcony and do it in the timeline so that the owner doesn't end up paying for a back charge and, oh, you were you held us up for more. What we'll do is we'll come in and we'll, we'll be a liaison between the owners and the contractors. A lot of times some of that information needs to be, you know, reiterated and, and you know, sometimes we're, we're going door to door to talk to people about and uh, or we'll, we'll, we'll email a call and we'll, we'll have people, you know, understand where the construction process is because they're not going to get that a lot of times from the contractor and not going to get uh, timely information. So we'll try to bring that information to them as timely as possible so that they can be in conformance with their contractors and, and work with their contractors and allow that process to continue in a more, you know, an effortless, if you will, manner instead of um, a constant, <laughs> constant yeah. battle, I, I which can happen. Thinking, building managers won't like me for saying this, but it would be nice that in the beginning of the process, if people that live in the buildings would participate in the monthly meeting, at least till they had an understanding of what was going yeah. to happen to them. That would be very helpful to them because that was, we go to those monthly meetings, we bring everybody yeah. up to speed on what's going yeah. on. But owners would be, they would be well advised to go to those preliminary meetings. Now with hurricane season right around the corner, what advice can you give the people at home to protect their property or their belongings that they might have in their balcony or, uh, you know, anything around their property that they might want to protect? I've been through. I went through Betsy, so I'm back a ways. Um, it, I, the best thing to do is get everything off your balcony. It's uncomfortable to have it inside your unit, but get it off. It's and have a plan. You know, if yeah, you have, if you have too much that you're not going to be able to put it somewhere, you have to think about that before the last minute. Have an alternative. Yeah. Yeah. Shutters need to be, you know, functional. Do you guys install shutters? We don't install them, but we, we, we can make sure they we work. Make sure they, yes. They're installed. <laughs> right. they, we inspect they, them, and yeah. we've inspected many different installations, some worse than others. And one of the best things, advice I can offer is, you know, make sure that everything is attached, everything is functioning But you can uh, refer to someone that can install them. Sure. Of course. Yeah. yeah. There's, yes. Okay. <laughs> you need a recommendation? No, not here. Well, <laughs> but well, it, there are people that do it better than others. That's true. Um, we know who's good and who's yeah. not out there. Uh, it, the the, the easiest right. criteria, like anything in town, make sure that they have workman's comp, make sure they have liability before they come onto your site. You're responsible for those things under Florida law, even if they say they do and then they don't. Um, just because they say it, no. Get it. Get a piece of paper in, in front of you. Yep. Get it in writing. That's, that, that's more of what we do as well, making sure of that. Wonderful. Well, can you tell the people at home how we can get a hold of you? There's a logo on that green sheet. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> no. Um, Kasner Putanti. Um, Ralph Kasner at BellSouth.com. Dot net. Dot, and you're what, Richard? Putanti at MSN.com. Wonderful. Or you can visit the Chamber of Commerce. Oh, that's right. Thank you. Please come by here. This young lady will help you. <laughs> you can visit the Chamber right. of Commerce and we can help you, people at home. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, just call Richard or Ralph. Can you sure. guys tell the people at home your phone numbers? I'm at 305-205-4063. 786-232-2462.
Wonderful. This is, well, thank you for Say coming. Oh, yeah. Eh, puedo leer, hablar y escribir el idioma como tocando una campana. How about that? That was great. <laughs> this is Ashley Kayon on location for the Chamber of Commerce. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you. Thank you for Thank being you, here. Ashley. Thank you.